we are back for another awesome recording. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Alright, let's see. Oh, which one's this one? Ah, oh, yeah, I like this one. I like this one. Yeah, Magnon Light likes this one. Is that it? That's it. Run table. All right. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. I got everything, dude. I got uh, it was so cool on my on my cell phone. I got a PS1 emulator, a Genesis emulator, a Nintendo emulator, an SNES emulator. Um, so I got all those old school games on my phone. It's so cool. So fucking cool. I got like Twisted Metal 2, Sonic the Hedgehog Classics, and they, they have cheat codes. It's so fun. I got Mega Man. And like Mega Man's fun as hell, dude. You got cheat codes on it. It's really fun. Like, oh, the graphics are terrible. Of course the graphics are terrible. It's like 1985. The game is ridiculously hard and ridiculously fun. It's fun. It's fucking fun. You know? That was funny. It took him a minute. Bitch! Anyone hear that? Anyone hear that? We're good. We're good. Out of here. So there's your first one. Watch out for the scientists. Uh, it's terrible. I want to talk about something real quick. Um, what happens when people do not believe in God and the one true God, Jesus Christ? Uh, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit are the true God. Um, that's just what it is. And you can be mad about that all you want. You can be mad about that all you want. You know what I mean? That That's what it is. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are in fact the one God in three persons. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Um, <laughs> which is funny. But then what happens when you get a person outlandish? You know what I mean? Um... I doesn't want to believe, you know, what do you do then, you know what I mean, like, it's not the fact they don't want to believe, they, like, hate God, they're hate mongers, they hate Jesus, they hate religion, they hate, 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 promote their hate, uh, what happens to them, what happens if they're outlandish, I personally believe, since I know, and have engaged with my sister on this conversation, my sister is a full-blown heretic. Ref refuses to talk about scripture. Refuses to talk about our Lord and Savior. Ref refuses to acknowledge the fact that he exists and we have to pray to the Father. Refuse, refuse, refuse. And not, what does it do to a person though? No compassion. No empathy. No sympathy. All you do, all... Oh no, why did you do that? Is it off? Turn it back on. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, this is all fucked up. It's okay. I'll just wait. I don't know. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? What the hell's happening? It's getting everybody but the target. What the hell is happening right now? Okay, I was gonna say, like, what the hell was that? It's getting everybody but the target? That's rich. Uh oh. What do you, what do you, why do you do that? Okay, hurry up. Where did that come from? I don't know, why don't you pick it up? Motherfucker. Getting on my fucking nerves. Is she really coming up? Oh my fucking god. Oh, whatever. How? Who saw me? Who saw me? 
Who saw me? Who? There ain't no cameras around here. There ain't no one in yellow. Like what the fuck? If it was, if someone saw me, it would have been in yellow. You would have saw, but they would have been like, "What the fuck?" and start shooting at me. That's horseshit. That is absolute horseshit. I'm getting pretty hungry. I don't know. I'm not allowed to eat. Anyways, back to the subject about atheism and what it does to a person. I, I think they are lost. I think they don't understand reality. Um, they're selfish. They don't have a kind, sincere heart. You know what I mean? Like, I have a sincere heart. I wear my heart on my sleeve, fool. You know what I mean? Like, I'll confess to the whole world I believe in Jesus. I don't care what, what people think. He is the Lord and Savior. If you guys don't like it, you can go straight to fucking hell. That's how I look at it. Now get your ass up here, fool. Uh, what does it do to a person to reject God? I think they're nasty people. I think they're very, like, there's no kindness. There's like, Again, there's no kindness. There's no reason to be kind. Because if there's no God... Their whole premise is like, okay, the atheistic premise. They're like, there's no God, no meaning, no purpose. We're here by animals. We're here by, we're an advanced primate. You know what I mean? We're here by evolution. All that bullshit. So there really is no right and wrong. It's all relative. We're just like cats and dogs, blah, blah. There's no such thing as God, no religion, no meaning, no purpose, homosexual. I was like, it just gives you an excuse to sin. That's all I hear. If you don't believe in God, I think it gives you an excuse to be wicked. And be a wicked piece of shit. What a piece of shit, though, you know? You should be singing songs of, of God and Christ and, and peace and love and the Spirit. But no, no, no. I've always wanted that from my sister. Like, can't you communicate at all? Can't you even have any form of dialogue in adult? It's an adult conversation. Well, oh, let's see here. Hack the laptop. Wear a disguise. Okay, we're not there yet with the ninja outfit or the uh, plague outfit. It's just bullshit. I always wanted to, like, a, like, there is no caring. There's no such thing as a person caring. Like, you can't care. Like, you can't care. Like, you don't care. Like, you don't, I'm getting surgery soon, right? I'm getting surgery soon on my, on my neck. I'm getting a neck fusion. Everyone I talk to, other than my sister, always says the same thing. We'll be praying for you. We'll, I hope you recover quickly. Um, you know what I mean? You'll be fine. You know, positive things. Um... Shows that you care, for one thing, and you're a human being. Nope! We don't get that from my sister. We don't. We don't get that. We don't get that. It, it's just this competition of who can die first. I'm not in any sort of competition who could die first. Is this the golf ball one? Hold up. Any method? Okay. Um. What is love? Love. There's two ways of love. I believe there's caring about your health like if you care about your girlfriend's health that's important it shows that you love her make sure she's healthy make sure she doesn't have diabetes you know what I mean um, what's another form of love I believe another form of love is Oops, I did it on accident. Who's coming up here? Oopsie, that's okay. I'll just hide over here. Uh, another form of love, I would say, is helping somebody out in their career. That, that's true love right there. If you help somebody out in their career and you get them promoted, and you, that's helping their life. Like, you help their life in two ways. Their health and then boosting their career. They get paid more. That's love. And who wouldn't want to get paid more? That's love right there. Like, oh, I can't believe you went out the way to get my promotion for me. I love you. You know what I mean? That shows that you fucking care, right? Uh, another, again, the, the first form of love is health. 
Like, how are you doing? Are you sick? Can I get some medication for you? Is there anything I can do to help? What can I do to help to make you feel better? That's what you're. That's how you're supposed to communicate to a girl, according to their health. It shows that you love her and you care. Like, are you okay? Oh, motherfuck, whore, bitch. You fucking cunt. I swear to why did you walk away, man? I'm gonna pacify this whore. I swear to God. Anyways. Um. So that's what love is to me, you know? is just showing that you care about their health. Like, hey, how you doing? Are you okay? Are you coughing lately? You know, did you see your doctor? Oh, you gotta get surgery? Well, I hope you'll be fine. We'll be praying for you for a fast, speedy recovery. You know what I mean? Things like that. Shit like that. We don't get that from the atheist, though. We don't get that from the atheist. It's just this selfish, like, oh, why can't you just heal yourself? This weird bullshit, like, why can't you do it yourself? Why, why, you know what, this whole why can't you do it yourself thing? Because they, the atheist looks at it like, why should I care, basically? Why should I care? It's the right fucking, because you're a human being. People make mistakes. Uh, I think a third form of love is forgiveness, too. You gotta forgive people. Can't hold a grudge. That's another thing about my sister. Holding a grudge the last 10 years of a mistake I made. Like if you ever make a mistake, holy shit. And just shoving it in your face no. at any point in time. That's so childish. That's childish right there. That's childish. Alright, snap a motherfucking neck. Anybody hear that? Anybody hear that? We're good. Alright, posse out. So yeah, that's a form of love right there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, caring about their health, a girl's health. Like, hey, you know, even if you're, you're like siblings and your parents and shit, you call moms, call dad, like, hey, it shows that you fucking care. How's your fucking health? Is there anything I could do to help? Can I get you your medication that you need? That's, that's a form of love right there. It shows that you fucking care. We don't get that from my sister. We don't get like, yeah, I'm getting fucking spine surgery, bro. Any normal person on the planet in your family would be like, dude, I hope you'll be okay. Dude, uh, what's the next one? Oh, okay, I know this one. It's uh, amputation. Um, okay, I remember what to do. Um, we don't get that, though. It just and It makes me believe you're not even a human being. Because, like, how come I get that from other human beings? If, if they're going to accuse me of not being normal because I believe in God. Um, or or they find it a contradiction or some sort of hypocrisy. Like, oh, how can you believe in God and still have a fallen nature and be a sinner? Uh, because I have free will. There you go. That's the answer. It doesn't make me an awful person to have free fucking will. Alright? It doesn't make me an awful person. And the very same thing the atheists accuse you of, like, oh, you're not a good person, da, da, da. There's no such thing as goodness on the atheistic view. It's just his presupposition. Ah, oh, fuck, I did it again. Okay, he's coming. Um, oh, the guards are not here? Uh, let me think. We might have some complications. Is that golf ball? That is golf ball. I don't remember it. Hey, I don't remember it saying that, golf ball and all that shit. Um, I think we fuck. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Uh, we got some complications going here because of this guy over here in the corner, too. Um, this may not work. Yeah, see, that's not gonna work. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. He was going to check out that body anyways. Oh, you have to, like, lure his dumb ass up there. I'm not going to even do it that way, though, because I have to go get the golf ball, the amputation knife, and all that shit. Anyways, back to the subject. Um, terrible. Terrible person. Ultimately, you're just a terrible person. If you don't care... Oh, you know what's even more terrible? I texted my sister, like, yeah, mom... Oh, my God. 
mom has some stomach problems. Mom needs some pills from the vitamin store. And I'm like, I don't have my, I don't have any money right now. Can you get some pills for mom for her fucking stomach? What, are the, what does the atheist do? They don't care. They don't even care about your own loving mother, fool. They don't even care about your own loving mother. They're like, fuck that. I'm not buying shit for mom. Fuck that. That's stupid. That's like, that's the kind of attitude you're dealing with. That's just, that's just dumb. Why would I want to buy pills for mom and waste $25? I have to go buy cigarettes and jeans. That's, that's the attitude of the world right there. No compassion for any fucking thing on the planet. You're a monster. You're a piece of shit. In my book, you are a fucking piece of shit. You are a fucking piece of shit. Bottom line. You are a fucking piece of shit. If you can't care about your family, you're a fucking piece of shit. You are a fucking piece of shit. Well, you don't give a shit about nobody, huh? Nope. You don't even give a shit about your own life, do you? Nope. Like, they literally don't care. They do not fucking care at all. They literally and actually do not fucking care about their life or anyone around them. The only thing they care about is... Oh, shit. Wrong way. Hold on. Uh, the only thing they care about, at least my sister's point of view, is uh, how many cigarettes can I smoke in a day? Uh... You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let's see. Let's grab this amputation. And we're going to get the golf ball. Oh, yeah. I can go this way. Just got to watch out for the camera. Is there another one? Okay. Yeah, they don't give a shit. And I, it's a pawn move. Like, I text my sister. Yeah, but I already knew she's not going to. And this is, this is the thing my sister hates. She's, don't tell me what I'm thinking. It's so obvious, though. It's so obvious. We can. We, we, this is the thing. We're not telling you what you're thinking. We're telling you what you're not doing. It's obvious. You don't give a shit. Oh, mom's sick in the hospital. Oh, I don't give a shit. I, I got. I gotta go buy cigarettes and jeans. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? the fuck is wrong with you? Well, well, so, like, at some point in the future, um, when my sister, my nephew, my sister's son, like, fucks up. Of course, my, my sister thinks, like, her son will never fuck up. He's perfect. He'll never go, like, get drunk or smoke some weed or get locked up, get drunk, have sex with a loose girl somewhere. That you shit's going to happen. Sure. And when shit hits the fan, I am going to laugh my ass off when he grows up. He's 17 right now. And uh, that's another thing, too. My sister can't explain to her own damn son about the nature of the world. Have, hasn't taught him shit. Hasn't taught him shit. Like, every time you see, see him, what do you teach him? Oh, play your video game, son. Don't say shit about the world. Don't say shit about peer pressure. Don't say shit about people trying to fuck you over and manipulation of women and STDs and like she never warned him about because it's embarrassing for her to talk to your son about uh, women and STDs and uh, HIV and hepatitis and all the fucking diseases that go with it, right? That's not embarrassing. That's education. You know what I mean? Oh, I fucked up again. Is this golf ball? It's golf ball? Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a little challenging. Um, is he in the force ring? He's not? Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought he was. That makes things easier now. Okay. No way in hell. No, if I throw the golf ball at him right now, everyone in the whole street will get alerted. So, it's it's complicated. What the hell is that? Are you serious? You saw me do that. You're a cunt. You are a fucking cunt. You don't see me throw shit. What? Thank you. Go pick it up, motherfucker. Stop here in my sector. Stand by one. All right, we gotta get him to come up these goddamn stairs. Don't let this get to you, man. Calm and smile. Calm. And uh, smile. It won't work. heard a strange noise. I'm gonna... Are you fine? Fine. Quiet. I'm fine. I'll just 
this tech stuff gives me the Man, I swear, these sort of things happen more to me than anybody else. Cursed or anything. Really? I mean, come on. That's because he's a bitch. Okay. Are you watching this? Alright, go check it out. Got it. You gotta be kidding. You, go. I, I... Oh, shit, that happens all the time. Another person will come up. That's what I was afraid of. And he'll come up from like a mile away. Where is he? Sometimes it cancels. There we go. Is he coming? Okay, here he comes. Huh. Okay, we got him up here. Anyone Possible walking up? Are we walking up? Well, we're safe. Just get him to go over there. Alright, perfect. He's on the stairs. Top dollar. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Top dollar my ass. Anyways, back to the subject. Uh, yeah, lack of compassion, lack of communication, lack of fucking happiness. It's always the same thing. But again, hey, you're, you know what? You're an adult. You can do what the fuck ever you want to do, right? You can be, if you want to be a piece of shit, hey. You are free to be a piece of shit. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna stop you. Just know that you're gonna be fucking judged. Alright. That's the easiest way to do it, because... I'm not exactly... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm not exactly... They will hear it. Yeah, they will hear it. Uh... See, that's the problem. They hear that shit. That's out the way. We just gotta get rid of dude. Ah, uh, where's dude? Okay, here he comes. There's a few complications though. Because uh, as soon as you throw the knife. Oh, no, it's the next one. That's the next one. That's complications. This one's fine. It's the fifth one where you have to wear the plague outfit and all that shit. What? Okay, here he comes. It irritates me. It's annoying. You know that you're not a human being. That you don't give a shit. You're supposed to be a loving, caring, honest, uh, loving, caring, honest, uh, goodness, holiness, uh, not afraid to confess to the truth of our Lord and Savior, understand that we're all human beings of a fallen nature. Motherfucker, you didn't see this coin? No way. I swear to God, I'm gonna cut you right now. Alright. You're a fucking piece of shit. Get your ass over here. What the? Don't move. I'll go check. <laughs> Don't worry, mister. I ain't going nowhere. They hear it. See? Look. They hear it? Yep. And he'll walk up here. There's a couple ways to get rid of him. So you'll run straight the fuck up here. You gotta plant a gun. Like right here. Bam. That'll stop him. That should stop him. Or at least give you some time. Let me see him. I wanna see him. He should double back now. He should see that gun and double back. Yep. See? He double backs. That's what we want. You got a little bit of time. It gives you a little bit of time because he's got to go find a guard. And he'll forget about the fucking generator. Or the he'll forget about the sound he heard. Nice. So yeah, I don't like people that don't have compassion. Man. Especially in the family zone. Um, like I said, when my nephew grows up, heaven forbid he fucks up, bro. Like, it's, ter it's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna laugh my ass off if he if he's gay. I'm gonna laugh my ass off if he turns gay. I'm gonna be like, ha, ah, you have a gay son. Not that it's wrong. Hey, you wanna have a gay son? That's fine. 
I'm saying, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't say it was wrong. I just said it was hilarious. I just said it was hilarious that you have a gay son. Why is that not funny? It's hilarious. That means, uh, ugh, that's nasty. He's going to come home. Because he's going to be 18 soon, right? He'll come home with Gary, who's like 38. Be banging each other in the other room type shit. You know what I'm saying? And you have to accept that. You have to accept him coming over to the house with Gary, making out, holding hands and shit. They are a couple. No matter how gross and disgusting you think it is, you're supposed to think it's beautiful. You're supposed to like that kind of shit. <laughs> that's nasty, that's nasty, that's nasty. I think it's hilarious. Like, you should have warned him. You should have warned him about STDs, hepatitis. Should have told him about uh, the human brain. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as like okay. fucking um, tell him what's it like. Tell him about the world. And, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. These guards are a problem, so we're gonna get rid of them right now. Actually, it's easier if I just wait. Watch, watch. Yeah, you should have told him. You should have told him. We could have prevented the homosexuality if he turns that way. You know, you could have prevented it. You could have told them, like, yeah, uh, we don't hate the gays, but real men love pussy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but real men love pussy. We have to tell them this. We have to be pro-pussy in this. You can't be sucking dick on the weekends, man. It's not healthy. So, um, so yeah. Give them a heads up. Like, yeah, you know, real men love pussy, and that's just how it is. You know I mean? But you didn't tell him that. You didn't tell him that real man love pussy. He didn't have a good male role model to tell him about pussy. So, like, he might turn gay. You know what I mean? Break your son, motherfucker! What you know about the hood? Nothing! Bring your ass! I gotta get rid of these gods. These gods are an issue. Um, let me think. I could put the other guard in the crate, but then there's still a problem. Uh, not, not really. As far as being clean or an extra work, do I really want to go put the guard in here? I don't know. It really doesn't matter, I would think. It really doesn't matter. Okay, we got rid of him. We got to double back and get rid of the other guard here. Ugh. Wait a minute. Did I drop some shit? No? Did I pass the bottom? Alright, tight. So oh, yeah. Alright, here he is, here he is, here he is. We got some complications with this dude here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, there's a lot of work putting him in the other crate though. Let me see what we could do. Uh -huh. See, that's the problem, that's the problem. Everybody else hears it but him. Walk your dumb ass over here, fool. Did you hear it? Alright, so I heard it. I feel mildly annoyed. Ah, hmm. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Find out what that was. What See what I'm talking about? Too much work. Too much work. And they got some other guard coming out. Isn't that bullshit? Isn't that bullshit? So much bullshit. Even though he was closer. Alright, see, this is bullshit. He's in the fucking way. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have a trank? I do have a trank. What the fuck? Trank that bitch. Trank that bitch. Yeah, trank the bitch. Yeah, trank the bitch. That should be good enough. What about the body? The, oh yeah, the body. Fuck. See, he's, he's just, this guy's in the way, dude. Just don't even bother. Ching. Motherfucker took my coin too. He's in the fucking way, man. I can't finish the job. Just sitting there, standing there and shit. I could trank him, but then they'll find the body, and it doesn't work. I'll just do it the way I did it before. Not that big a deal. 
I swear to God, if the other guard walks up, get the fuck out of here with that. So what we're gonna do? Let's just pacify the living Christ out of you and put you in the fucking crate because you're annoying me. It's the easiest thing to do because I know when I when I kill the other guy, the other guy hears it. He'll run up and it fucks up everything. It's okay though. This is plague, right? Plague doctor. Okay. I should be okay though. We got rid of the main guard. The main guard is the problem. Alrighty, who's over here? Nobody. Okay. Damn, I hate my controller, man. I fucking hate my controller. I swear. Stupid. Right. Now we gotta go upstairs. Stupid fucking button, man. Keeps fucking sticking. Should just pour alcohol over the damn thing. Maybe it'll clean it up. If this controller breaks, that's it. I can't play the fucking game. I don't have another controller. And I really need to get a new one. I'm sick of this controller. Let me see this. Alright. This is impossible. Just <laughs> look for a combination code like Ms. DeSantis. What? You heard it too. Give me intel on that. Leave it to me. <laughs> Mark ass tricks, you know about that. Posse out. All right, ooh, so sunny. Graphics are awesome. Look at that, I love it. You got the choich over there. Uh -oh. Got the choich, my button sticks. Lame. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love Sapienza. All right, got my sword. Finna go back down, shank this hole. Do, 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 okay. We talk about real issues on Magnon Light. <laughs> we talk about the real issues. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Alright. Is it both katana? It's both katana? Okay. Perfect. Let me get that. All right, come investigate. It, it, sometimes he doesn't hear it. There is a guard, that fag down there. See that guy? Sometimes he uh, he hears me shank him. He'll run up in here and fuck up everything, man. Watch. Gotcha. It doesn't matter where I place him, bro. I can place him this way. And then go for the shank. Watch. He fucking hears it. You didn't hear it? Okay. That's a first. That's a fucking first. Where is he? He's still over there. No way. Alright, we're looking good. Okay, if he hears it, there's a way out of it. Just plant the gun at the stairs. It's not too big of a deal. No. Yes. Plague doctor, bitch. What you know about the hood? See, watch. Let's let let's let him hear it on purpose. See? I'll drag him slightly over here. My outfit. He's gonna come racing over here. That's what he do. I'm gonna drop the pistol right here. Drop all fucking pistols at the, at the stairs. Excuse me. Fuck you, dumb cunt. Get the fuck away from me. Where is he? See, so look, look, look. I just found something. Oh. Oh my god. How the fuck did he not see that? Okay. Let's get out of here. 
Okay, I see. Oh, shit. Who's the other guy? Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. He picked up the gun. We got a little bit of time. See? That works out. Yeah, it worked out just fine. And there it is. That was a good run. Make some more chicken. <laughs>